When changes need to be made to connections, they can be edited individually by the user very simply. There are a couple different ways to edit connections. The first is by selecting Edit on the SDS2 Connect toolbar, then selecting the structural element whose connection is to be edited. At this point, there should be two connection nodes, one at each end of the element. Simply click on the connection node at the correct end the connection needs to be edited. Once that is done, changes can then be made in the connection edit window. Connections must be edited this way when there is no connection designed for a structural element due to either a failed connection or a plain end connection applied. It is also suggested that when editing shared connections, such as shared gusset plates, to use this method of editing Otherwise, it is sometimes possible to edit the incorrect connection. The second way to edit connections can only be done if a connection has already been designed by SDS2 Connect. To do this, simply click Edit on the SDS2 Connect toolbar and then pick any bolt or material that makes up the connection to be edited. Users can also set up keyboard shortcuts to help speed up the editing process. As an example, ED will be set as a shortcut for edit under add-ins. Once this is done, users can type ED on the keyboard to edit connections rather than click edit on the SDS2 Connect toolbar. There are several different areas of the connection edit window. The first area, which will be opened by default when a connection ed is edited, is connection type. In here, users can select what type of connection is to be designed, moment type, non-moment bolt type and diameter, safety erection seat options, and required loads. The non-moment bolt type and diameter will apply only to non-moment bolts, meaning if a connection is to be a clip angle with bolted moment paddle plates, only the bolts in the clip angle would be affected by these settings. The connection specification area will contain different options such as connection material grade, gauges, attachment options, expanded bolt spacing, etc. These options will only be available when something other than auto standard is selected for the connection type and are different depending on which connection type is selected. Setbacks contains options for minus dimension and field clearance information. The moment area contains options for moment connections such as connection material, moment bolt type and diameter, etc. These options are only available when a moment type is selected in the connection type area. The end prep area contains options for applying or changing end preparations done by SDS2 Connect. For these to be edited, user connection in the upper right corner must be checked. Users can do different end preparations such as plane copes, moment weld copes, notches and tubes, clips, etc. Design details contain parameters such as material length, width, thickness, etc. for the connection that was designed. It also contains parameters for the rows of bolts, columns of bolts, spacing, etc. Users can make changes to these parameters if user connection is checked. Keep in mind when users make changes to end prep or design details that the connections are no longer designed by SDS2 Connect and insufficient connections could be designed if the incorrect values are input. SDS2 Connect, however, will do a check on the connection and the results can be seen in the design calculations report. 
For more in-depth information on the different areas of the connection edit window, please watch the different connection type or area specific videos. Thank you for watching the SDS2 Connect connection edit tutorial.